All right, boys, there's been quite a few balance changes to Fortnite wrecked recently, and especially within the realm of the spray weapons. We've had things removed, many buffs within here. So I want to go through them all and see which one is the best, particularly in build mode, because a large factor of build mode is replacing walls with spray weapons. Now, there's something I'm going to write off immediately. The laser rifle, the DMR, they just do not fire fast enough. These are the ones that are actually automatic and have the potential to take walls, though some of them are going to be pretty useless in this endeavor. Now, a large factor that's going to affect which ones can actually take a wall is their damage, but it's also going to have to do with their fire rate. Something unique about Fortnite is that if the fire rate is above 7, then you can bleed through walls with your bullets, and that means even if someone is holding turbo build on you, you will hit them at least once within that volley. So that's something that's definitely important to remember, and that means that weapons like the Enforcer AR just straight up have no chance of doing that. Though it does do a bit of damage, in five shots, you've destroyed a wall. It really just comes down to how fast they take out the wall. So we're going to spray on these wooden walls and time how long it takes for them to get destroyed. Of those three light ammo weapons, I have to say, I think the Thunderburst was the best. The thing about burst weapons is they tend to be the best for build fighting, because a large part of the tactics of build fights are psychological, you know? You're gonna hit, and they think you're gonna pickaxe again, but instead you switch to your gun. And because it's a burst weapon, you can go into turbo build right off the burst. While it's still firing rounds, you are switching to your build menu and putting down a wall, and that's the true power of burst weapons. Though this Harbinger has gotten really good. That is not a slow fire rate at all. Of these three weapons, we gotta put the pistol down, for sure. Now let's give the long rifles a test, starting with Tactical Assault Rifle. On to the Enforcer AR. That might actually be faster. And then the Combat AR, the newest added rifle to the game. That is a wall chewer. I don't know the exact timing there. That'll be on the screen right now. But I'm going to say that the combat assault rifle felt by far the most comfortable. The thing is, is that it pours out rounds though. So if you're using this to build battle, it really necessitates you having a lot of medium ammo. If we spray down just a wood wall, that's eight rounds right there. As opposed to five off of an enforcer, but... Truthfully, you're not going to want to use the Enforcer in build battles. And if I'm being real, I probably wouldn't use the Tactical Assault Rifle in build battles either. The Combat Assault Rifle is okay, but I think in terms of build battling, the light ammo weapons are winning. The SMGs are peak right now, which sometimes they're not. Within Fortnite, for so whatever odd reason, often you'll have the rifles being a better option than the SMG. You know, do some tactics. Hit a burst. Right now, I'd definitely be picking up the Thunderburst SMG, but if you're not too technical with the build fighting, you can't go wrong with the Harbinger SMG. Because that thing is really, really good. Not the best auto SMG we've ever had, but it'll work well enough. But if you want to learn more about the tactics that I'm using to get solo victories in this season of Fortnite, check out this video next to me. Comment down below which of these spray weapons is your favorite and how you're feeling about Fortnite Wrecked, and of course, you son of a bitch. I can't believe you've done this. Use code SOUR in the Fortnite item shop to support this channel.